What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. All right guys, got another cool moon video for you. This one here is Apollo 16. I want to show you some really weird things in these photos and what's being covered up. Now some of the things may only be a couple of things that we can find and draw out of the picture, but it's the other stuff that's in the picture that's just there, meaning you don't have to enhance and you just kind of question. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is just weird stuff here, guys. Here's the photo we're going to be having a look at. Now, somebody had told me, hey, Chris, you need to take a look at this uh, and tell me if you can find anything. Now, again, anytime I see a part of a photo or the whole photo, it doesn't matter, that's been sanitized, I go after it like a pit bull, case in point, right here in the middle. Okay, right off the bat. Why is this completely whited out? Anybody tell me why? Look at this. Anybody tell me why that's completely whited out? Here's a little interesting tidbit for you. Does this look familiar at all? What do you think of that? Anybody know what that is? It's a nuclear power supply. Where does it sound familiar? What other orbiter rover might have that? Oh, well, look at this. That's the Curiosity rover one. Imagine that. And guess what, guys? They had that in 1972 when Apollo 16 mission went on. So they did have the technology. And, of course, it may not be as, you know, uh, technologically awesome like it is today. But regardless, they still had this back in the day, right? All right. Here's a couple of weird things right off the bat I want to show you guys. So let's let's move over here. And I, for the likes of me, I can't figure this thing out. Okay. We can see the rocks in the background. It's just typical. I don't believe these mountains or hills are even mountains or hills at all. And I'm going to show you why. Because one of them over here does not appear to be a hill once it's enhanced. Okay. All right, can anybody tell me what this is right here? Now, clearly, this is an instrument of the Apollo mission. We know that, right? Can anybody tell me what this is here? Right here, going over the cables, and it's like it's ghosted. Anybody tell me what that is? Look, at it it's literally looks like it's stretching out over, and I'll put this right in the middle of the screen for you guys. I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit more as well. Check this out. What is that? It's like a glass-like structure type thing or whatever this thing is. And it's kind of like like folding over this cable, this power cable. And what is this other object right here in the middle of the screen? What is that? This is what I'm talking about. This is stuff that's been manipulated. And you're going to see what I mean because the ground itself has been manipulated around it. And you're going to see what I mean. Here, we got this weird-looking light cluster right there in the middle that almost looks like it has something silver sticking out of it almost like the end of an exhaust pipe now i'm not saying that's what it is i'm just saying but that has that kind of look to it and this white blotch here's another thing i don't know if you guys will notice this we could see the astronaut right here right of course he is really whited out and sanitized and all that other good stuff but do you guys notice the square very, very faintly on the right-hand side of them right here. Okay. Let's get into this a little deeper, shall we? Let's jump off of this. Set that right back to where it's supposed to be. Let's get into Photoshop. All right. Now, here's a screenshot I took of the, the part of the pan. I wasn't interested in the rest. I wanted this sanitized area, right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and circle these. These objects... It's just bizarre how these are being whited out. I'm not sure what to even make of that. Okay. We got this object again right here. This right here. Like I said, it looks like some kind of weird gray pipe sticking out of the out of this circle of this white blotch, which I find really interesting. I've got this arrow over here because is this hill really a hill? I can see, without even really doing any of that, I can see a line right there just below this arrow. It's coming down and going over there here. And you'll see this a lot more. It has like these weird like design lines to it. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's just, again, just crazy when you see some of this stuff. And again, I showed you really faintly on this photo what looks like this weird squared object. But there's more in there. To the left of this astronaut, just between these crosshairs is one here right on the left hand side it seems to be these little faint lines 
And I'm going to bring them out there a little bit better, see if we can bring anything out of this. Because to be truthful, guys, I don't know what's going to happen when I enhance this. I don't know what I'm going to find. Now, let's, let's back up. Let's start to enhance this. All right. Now, check this stuff out now. These weird things that are ghosted. Okay. Notice how they have like a black line around them, like a black space. That's because everything around it has been manipulated. And of course, I got to try to keep the footprints. That makes sense, right? Again, we get this black area around said object. God knows what that is. It almost looks like it has like a little tiny spot right there. Like, like some kind of little detail. See that right there? Okay. Now, let's look at the back of this mound here, right? Start to see these little lines in the back, and you'll see there's a lot better. This object here, something that had that, what looked like it had that weird looking pipe, this white blotch. Check this thing out. And it has that weird gray pot, but now it's darker because we, we brought it down to bring down the brightness. And again, look at nothing's crisp about this. Like they totally went around this whole area, right? But there's some kind of weird design there. You guys see that? What is that all about? That's pretty interesting, too. All right. As I get into this photo more and more, again, here's that, that square. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. You can just see that line right here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this a little sloppy, but that's okay. See it? Okay. See that? And like I said, I didn't draw it straight, but you guys get the idea. Okay. So let's keep going in this and see if we can find anything of any value. And by the way, there's some, still some other rocks in here. I'm not sure what they did here. It's like they used a highlight tool or some kind of weird tool to go around this black area. It, it, just weird, guys. Just really weird. And you can see this stuff has been drawn. Like they want to keep like certain rocks in there, but look at the way they kind of drew around. It's all sloppy. Nothing's clear. Just looks absolutely like garbage. See how, like, you can almost not see the background, but then the more you start to darken, you start to see layers. And I don't mean hills. Layers. Okay. Let's keep going. I'm just going to jump a couple ahead. Okay. Starting to get more in depth. But check this out. Suddenly, we get these weird... I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Just to the left of this astronaut, it looks like these weird kind of arch-type things or some kind of openings in whatever this supposed mound is, right? Here's this other object, which I find interesting, this square right on the side. And there's a couple other things that have been blotched away, so to speak. Well, you can see this white piece. It almost looks like it has a frame and some kind of white pieces right here, just laying on this other hill mound, if you will, and some other white objects on the ground. Now, we can argue those are probably rocks, and you know what? Let's go with 50-50. I don't care. Uh, it really doesn't matter much. What I'm interested in is what's really in this photo because when I jump over to this side, I'm starting to see these lines in this hill. Wait a minute. Why is there lines in this hill? Let's go back to this. They're very, very, very faint. Let your eyes readjust to the light. Look at the lines. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and forth. And you guys can have a look. You'll see exactly if you just concentrate on the whited areas, look at any kind of faint line. There it is. These lines are there. Now, what they are is beyond me. Is it the design of the mountain? Is it the way they did this to, you know, just kind of went over it and then just put a, uh, a texture over it? What, you know, what's going on here? We got this darkened rectangular area. Guys, these are not mounds. I've always said that. I've said it a hundred times. These are not mounds. And also, you can start to see something right here. Look at the way you're starting to get this dark area. It's kind of almost running across the whole middle of the screen horizontally. See that? Let's keep going. Let's go black and white. Here we go. There's something right here. I don't know if you guys can see. It's like at the 2 o'clock position above the astronaut's head right there. I found that pretty interesting. Okay. Let's keep going. Anything that we, we can bring out that's dark, we're going to try to bring it out more and more. So anything that has a dark signature, when you start to lightly burn, you'll start to see this stuff pop, right? Let's keep going. All right.
like I said, I see, again, guys, this is what's crazy, right? I see things that look just like Mars. In other words, there was a war, something exploded here. There's pieces and parts everywhere. Is it possible that the ancients were right? There's both wars on the moon as well as Mars. And you can almost bet it's been on every darn planet in the solar system at one point or another, right? Here's another thing, too. If, if you guys really look at this part here. From this point, I'm just going to draw a line. And we don't have to be perfect about it. We're going to go like this. But down here, it looks like something's right here. Like they've drawn over. And it goes up like this. Now, what I want you to have a look at is this little piece here where they didn't take out right here. That white piece right next to it, there's a darker area. That's where they didn't take out. There's something white there, meaning there's an object sitting right there. So in other words, this isn't a mound. I believe there's different parts scattered all over this, uh, this area right in front of this astronaut. I think it's a junkyard. I think they're actually up there on a reconnaissance mission. I mean, you can see stuff straggled all over the place, just junk laying all over the place. Again, look at this mound in the back. And have a look at these other pieces right here in the middle. We've got this hill going up. But then come back down. Look at the other pieces right here. You can see this depth to it. Something's being hidden right here. Right in this area. And you can see whatever it is, they're like, they're long and they're laying on the ground. And this mountain here, this supposed mountain has been blocked out or it's the design of this thing. I don't know which is which. But regardless, something's sitting there. And when you look at it like this, you would never see that in a million years. In a million years. I think, again, they've been on this and they're looking at stuff that's been totally wrecked. Just been decimated on the moon. Where else have we seen this, guys? On Mars. Is it possible, long before we became intelligent or came to this planet, whichever you prefer, that we had wars all throughout our solar system? And we're seeing it now. And I think they're seeing it themselves. Again, what are these two objects right here in the lower left crosshair? It just happens to be faint. It looks like it's stretching over the power cord of this thing. And then you get the one over here just right of this other object. I'm not even sure what that is. Right here. You can see where they've drawn around it. But what are they? That's what's crazy. Because this is the photo. Why do they look so fake and so trashed like it's been totally scented compared to simple rocks we see here on the right-hand side? We can all agree these are probably rocks here. Wouldn't have an argument. But yet you get to the back, suddenly everything looks washed. Hardly any detail at all. Look at this. And I'm trying to figure out what this white piece is that's inside this hole of this rock right here. And you can see an arch to it, like a rounded piece of that white part, whatever the hell that is, under this rock. I, I don't know what to make of that, guys. Maybe you guys have an idea. I don't know. Something's right there. Not sure what to make of that. Right here. Not sure what to make of that. I mean, guys, look at the, even the mountains. They look faker than you know what, right? Just crazy. There's no reason in the world that these things should look like this. None. You can see something. That's, there's a rock right here. Something cut out. You can see it right here. See that right in the middle? I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Look at the cutout of that rock. And then we go back to the normal photo. See that? Again, let's put a smack dab right in the middle. What is that weird dark cutout rock or whatever that's supposed to be right there? See that? And of course, I brought it way down so the dark area gets thicker, right? The edge of it. There you go, right? What's going on with that? It's as simple as this, folks. I mean, there's a lot of things you just can't drag out of a photo because it's being manipulated and it's even harder to try to pull it out. However, you can see some real discrepancies and some red flaggers, if you will, when you look at some of these photos. There's clearly junk laying all over the place here. And that's what they're there for. And it's it's really starting to come together, like I said, when these ancients are talking about wars on the moon and Mars and so on and so forth. And it sounds a little far-fetched when you think about it, but is it really? It's pretty interesting. This rock right in the middle has a hole in it. I didn't see that at first. And again, 
This white blotch in the back. Not sure what to make of that. Yeah. Guys, and I, I, listen, I'll stake my life on it. Whatever they were up there for, it was not to find rocks. There's no way, no how. They've seen structures on the moon. They've seen all kinds of crazy stuff on the moon. Um, heck, even I'm looking at this mound right now. You've got this square right here in the middle of it. Look at this. And you got that rectangular docker area in the bottom. And that's in the photo. You can clearly see that docking area right here. No doubt about it. There it is. And you can see this other, it looks like a square in there. Now, is it something that they drew over and then just put this texture? Good possibility. Or is it the way this thing's designed? I don't know. You guys tell me what you think, man. Whatever we're looking at, I think they're looking at blasted apart, stuff that's been decimated on the moon, and it's been a long time like that. I've showed you guys where it looks like, like these derelict spacecraft just laying on their side or these structures or whatever they may be just laying there. Things have been hidden in these photos, like washed out, and yet it looks like frames to buildings. Um, again, spacecraft, whatever it may be. It's not just something that was nice and fresh there. In other words, they landed there and they took off. And Because why would you see a, you know some kind of spacecraft laying on its side or almost on its side unless it was either blown to pieces and left there or they just never got off the moon, which I find it hard to believe, but... Whatever you would think if they had the technology to do that then clearly they wouldn't get stuck on the moon, right? Whatever we don't know again We can only speculate as to what's going on and what we're seeing in these photos But regardless one way or the other they have been manipulated some people choose not to believe that and that's fine But a picture tells a thousand words as far as I'm concerned, right? You guys tell me what you think as always drop your comments and thoughts below Please like and share the video and always give me a thumbs up, guys. It helps to get these videos out. If you're new to the channel, like what you're seeing, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell on the right-hand side of it so you'll be notified of any new videos coming out. Anyway, guys, got some more stuff coming up. We're going to be bouncing back to Mars again. And if you haven't checked out the latest Mars video, please do. Just more crazy stuff. And it's just more proofs just showing that there was life on that planet, intelligent life. Anyway, guys, as I said, please like and share. Always appreciated. Drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.